Today's episode is awesome because I get to be a proud father and I don't have to do most of the work. My daughter did it for me. Let's talk about that. Yes, I borrowed the Rhett and Link Good Mythical Morning intro there. But seriously, let's talk about that. So I am super proud for today's episode. Uh, here, here's, the, here's the backstory. Here's what happened. So last Sunday, which was yesterday for me, day or two for you guys, my daughter, no, back that up. Kids ministry had a kids Sunday. So they broke the service up in different parts. They had a skit. They did a, one of the girls did a, a dance. They did a bunch of stuff, but the part that really, really kind of st stole the show, if you ask me, but I'm biased, it's my daughter. Um, the part that I'm featuring today is she preached, she did the message. She's 10 years old, and as you're gonna see in a second, she did amazing. Like, she got a standing ovation, not because she, just because she did well, but because like her message actually connected pe with people and actually ministered to people. We had um, the Apostle, Apostle Don Craig from um, the Rivers Church. He was in tears. Several other people were in tears. People came up to her and said, that really ministered to me, and not just because you're a kid who's doing this, your actual message ministered to me and God used it to speak to me. That's amazing. <laughs> She's 10 years old, and like people are like crying, and God's speaking to them, and like, is the answer to people's prayers. It, it was it was awesome. Uh, even me, like, now luckily, the day of when I'm recording, I'd already heard it, so I was able to just hold the camera, you know, relatively steady. But the night before, we were down here doing some work at the church, Brandon was painting um, a mural in the bathroom, I was mowing the yards, and then afterwards we went in the sanctuary, she did it, and I was kind of choking up a little bit. I was like, oh my gosh, like, this is like, I don't want to use the term a real, a real sermon, because that, that's not exactly what I mean, but I think you understand what I mean, right? Like, she wasn't just going through the motions for practice. Like, she got up and she actually preached. And I'm gonna stop talking about it. I'm gonna show it to you guys. So, here, go watch it. So, ladies and gentlemen, this morning I have the privilege of introducing our preacher for the morning. Come on. This is the first of many sermons that are gonna come out of this young woman. I believe yes. that. And I believe God is gonna use her. So, if you don't mind putting your hands together, let's invite Lily Elrod, our preacher for the morning. Good morning. Good morning. Um, before I begin, I would like to pray. Amen. Amen. Jesus, I pray that we all have a good day and that we will learn more about you and that we can all have a good day. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 My favorite memory verse is Philippians 4.13. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. It reminds me I can do all things through Christ, like get an A in school, win a competition, or tell my friend about God. Last year, I got really behind in school. I prayed and worked hard, and I ended up finishing it like a day or two early. Amen. Don't waste your time wishing your troubles away. You will have troubles, but God will prepare you for them. Come on. And you will get to heaven. And, and when you get to heaven, there will be no troubles. Life there will be amazing. But while we're here, ask him to help you with your troubles. Yes. Isaiah 41, 13 says, I am the Lord your God. I take hold of your right hand. I say to you, do not be afraid. I will help you. He will help us whatever it is. Whatever you're facing. Amen. Amen. John 16.33 says, I have told you these things so that you can have peace because of me. In this world you will have trouble, but cheer up. I have won the battle over the world. Amen. He has won the battle, so we should be able to do all things through him. Amen. 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 Um, there are some people in the Bible who probably needed God's strength to help them. Like Esther, she um, she probably was afraid because she had to go in front of the king and tell her that his second in hand was trying to kill her people. See? And if you went to the king without being allowed, he could kill you. 
but she was brave and God helped her to be strong. Yeah. And she went to the king and because of that, her, her and her people were saved. Amen. Amen. And David, he was only like a little kid and he went to give his brothers in battle some food, but then he found out that this giant named Goliath was teasing their God and that they were too scared to go and fight him. So he asked the king for permission and David, which is like a little kid, went out and defeated Goliath. He probably was afraid, so but he um, prayed and asked God for his strength and he killed Goliath. Amen. Yeah. Amen. What is something in your life that you might need strength for? And I would now like to break it. Jesus, I pray that we all will have a good day and that you will give us strength for the things that we need to do in our life and that you will give us strength and we will not be afraid. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Okay, so was that fantastic or what? Like, she's 10 years old. Can you believe it? But she's got such a heart for God and such a passion. Like, this is a girl that, who she listens to Todd White messages with me, and so then she starts praying for her, her brothers and starts praying for people when they're sick and expecting healing. This is the girl who, when she heard about my flea market idea, my, my big idea, right? I had that video, big idea. When she heard about it, she's like, you've gotta let me go. She's, I mean, my son too, they're both really excited about the idea. But she's like, I want to go with you. When I did the podcast episode, which I think is the episode before this, like she didn't like that I did that without her. She wants to start going. I think I might even start taking her with me on some of the street stuff because she's got such a heart for the Lord and such a love for people. It's amazing. Like I don't know very many teenagers. No, scratch that. I don't know very many adults who can preach with that vulnerability and, and um, just openness in, in their heart. And she clearly has a gift for it, not necessarily preaching, but reaching people for God. And I love that. And I think this might turn into the Jared and Lily vlog, <laughs> Jared and Lily podcast, as she starts going with me more and more. Now, she can't go with the night stuff with me. One, she has school the next day. Two, some of it is kind of dangerous that I'm doing, or at least not safe if it's not dangerous. But like more and more, like especially once I get the booth and start doing stuff down at the Supreme Flea Market, She's gonna probably be a staple of the show. She's gonna start being on there a lot more because she's going to not let me go down there and do a lot of this stuff. She's already super excited for the Thanksgiving turkey giveaway that I'm kind of planning in the back of my head and kind of mentioned uh, to her. So she can't wait. If you're wondering about all the stuff I'm talking about, the Supreme Flea Market, the like, I'm guessing a lot of people you watch this just because of Lily's thing. Um, if you go look at the episode, my big idea, I kind of go over that a little bit. I'm, I'm renting a booth in a local indoor flea market to have outreach services to reach people who aren't coming into the church and and just to take take the gospel to them. I, I've started a podcast where I'm, I'm just on the street talking to everyday people and transitioning that conversation over to spiritual topics. And hopefully um, God will use that to bring people to the Lord. I've done one so far. And I got to pray over a lady for both her business and for her um, diabetes in her foot. So it's already, God's using it. And then, depending on how long it is you've seen this, check for the links. Um, I'm in a day or two putting out the episode called The Plan. So I had the big idea, now I have the plan, which is my plan of how to do this and how I can use you guys' help. So with all that, I'm gonna sign off, but just once again, she's awesome, right? All right, leave it in the comments how awesome she is. I'll read them to her. All right, guys, till tomorrow, have a blessed day.